Beasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Bad Batch, season three. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Angela and today I am starting Bad Batch season three. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm actually way behind, uh, I, but I, I did... I did get to go to Disneyland recently and uh, build a lightsaber and I rode Rise of the Resistance a lot, like three times. It was amazing. Um, so I, I definitely have been like very busy and I'm finally at the point where I can start watching this and I think I'm only six episodes behind right now. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited but nervous because um, the last season kind of... They, I mean, because you don't see any of these clones really in the future besides Rex. And, and we don't see any of Clone Force 99. So it's a little nerve-wracking to think that, like, they might wipe them all out at the end of the season. You know, we, we never see Crosshair. We never see Hunter. We never see Wrecker. We never see Tech. That one still hurts. And um, we never see Echo, you know. So, so these guys don't exist in the future in any of the other things that we've watched. And that makes me really nervous for what they're going to do with the season because it makes me feel because of tech, nobody's safe. Um, and you know what? I think I'm prepared for it, so it might not hurt. I mean, it'll still hurt, but like tech was my favorite. And I don't think I was ready and prepared for somebody from our main group to die. I thought maybe Fee, you know, like Tech was starting to feel feelings for her, or the way Tech feels feelings. Um, and, you know, I was just like, oh, that'll make him feel something, you know, whatever, deeper, different. Uh, I didn't think we'd lose one of our own, especially the one that, like, I absolutely love and adore. Um, so that hurt. And, you know, they, they, they Dr. Hemlock has Omega. As her at the cloning facility, which we also learned that she has a genetic clone sister, which um, she's older, she's taller. And I don't know if um, only Omega and Boba Fett were not given like an accelerated gene. And, and maybe that's why she has an older sister. But how many of them are there? How many clones do we have of Omega? Because <laughs> that like makes me really... Like happy and nervous and excited to 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 kind of see where we can take Omega's story in the future because if there are more of her, just as there are more of Django Fett, Boba Fett, the clones, period. Like like a, a new story can unfold some way somehow. Now, obviously, we have seen from the trailer that Asajj Ventress is in this. Um, I'm kind of wanting to see how they kind of put that together because you know she's not evil um but i did think she was dead and people were like no she's alive and then there's like the witches of dathomir and like all this stuff that could you know like there's just like so many ways that people survive brought back um uh, you just i'm i'm waiting to see how that story unfolds uh i'm i'm excited for it nervous but excited i think i say that a lot whenever i watch this i should just get into it and just just pull the band-aid off already but you know uh we got to find our girl we got to get our girl we got to save our girl and then you know uh crosshair is there so i'm really depending on him to step it up i don't know if he will um and and uh you know uh we can't depend on sid anymore but we have fee so i don't know um, and I don't know if Sid will get, like, a redemptive arc or not. Um, I, I don't trust her. I don't like her. But we'll find out. I don't know. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let's get into it. Ah. I'm going to get those drum beats right this year. Oh. Okay, why are we seeing this? Like they're not undercover, right? It doesn't look like Wrecker. We have to get moving. There are creatures in this jungle. Oh. Relax. We need them. <laughs> 
Dinosaur? Zillow Beast? Should I send a recovery team? Negative. Of course Hemlock feels that way. Omega? How long has she been here? Good morning, Omega. How are you feeling today? Like a prisoner. Because you are Want one. to leave? Prisoner? You are no such thing. It will take time to adjust. It is far safer in here than out there. Come. We have much to do. Yeah, keeping somebody in a cell is keeping them a prisoner. And they're putting her to work. I still don't understand quite what they want with her. Oh. Poor Crosshair. He looks broken. And I obviously don't know what they're doing here either, so they could be breaking them. And now I need to take a blood sample from you. Why? Yeah. The samples are used for various research projects. If you're a clone like me, how come I never saw you on Camino? Because I was sent elsewhere until Dr. Hemlock took me under his wing. He saw potential in me. Like Nala Say sees in you. Potential for what? Head to the lab. Nala Say is expecting these. Is she gonna do something with her own blood? I want to know what the purpose is. I mean, obviously it has to do with cloning, but like, what? More? Something special about Omega? Omega, your sample was taken. Mm-hmm. Emery said it was routine. Oh, it might not be. Why are you discarding it? Tell no one. Oh. It is safer this way. Now let's say he's keeping her safe. Why did they bring me here? To ensure that I cooperate. The Empire seeks the reproduction of a genetic m mm. How nice to see you reunited with your trusted assistant. I kind of forgot he was using her to keep Nalase working. But what did they want with her blood? M count. I'm guessing that's midi chlorian, right? In clones? Maybe that's not true. Maybe M count something else. This music is just dark. They're killing it this season. <laughs> it's episode one, but still. Oh, I do not like these type of force fields. They give me anxiety. Okay. Lurka hounds are gross. <laughs> Maybe they'll be cute. She just snuck some hay? Yeah, I wouldn't put my hand in there. Oof. I'll bring you more tomorrow. Hmm. Feel like he might help her get out of here. At least get away from there. Crosshair. I tried to come earlier, but there are too many guards watching me. You shouldn't be down here at all. Well, how else are we going to plan an escape? There is no we. Oh, and there is no escape. Every stronghold has a weak point. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can convince Emery to help. She's one of us. Uh, Not every clone is your ally. Absolutely. You trust too easily. <laughs> Maybe you don't trust enough. <laughs> Maybe you should meet in the middle. Just go before you make things worse for both of us. She loves you. You're her brother. 
Oh my god, I just want to hug him. It's funny how far I've come with Crosshair. One redemptive moment, and all of a sudden I'm like, FIGHT! Yeah, what's she doing? Is she trying to make rope? Is that what that is for? Oh, no. Okay. I don't know if you could weave those into a rope. I know they're not long. I like that she remade her bunny. Oh, look at all those hash marks. Jeez. She's got a little ponytail. Good morning, Omega. Good morning. Let's begin. <sighs> oh my gosh, are we going to see a lot of time pass? She didn't even look at him. I also just got that his name was Batcher, like Bad Batch. If her wounds do not heal, the subject will be terminated. Then Maybe put a band-aid on it. Her. Yeah. I am not a medical droid. It is not part of my programming. Aww. I love Omega's heart. Now look, I need to clean your wound for it to get better. It'll only hurt for a second, so put those teeth away and behave. <laughs> She's so brave. See? It's not so bad. And that's how you gain trust. What is your primary objective? Escape? Then stop wasting time on lost causes. Oh. Forget the hound. Forget me. Complete the mission. You're not a lost cause. If I get the chance to escape, I wouldn't think twice about leaving you behind. Sure. You're lying. I'm not giving up, Crosshair. I won't let you either. That's love, Crosshair. She's never given up on Crosshair, not once. Omega. Don't risk anything for me. I belong in here. None of us belong in here. Absolutely. What's going on? Surprise inspection. Standard procedure. She's not allowed to have anything that, like, makes her happy? <laughs> Bring it here. Personal items are forbidden. I'll dispose of it. Don't! So it's prison. Yeah, I don't think you can trust Emery either. If you cannot produce the desired results, I'll have to reconsider the freedoms I've given to your young assistant. <sighs> this guy. And we shall soon see if the Emperor is as understanding as I am. I hate Hemlock. Let's see if Batcher's better. Oh! Badger. Look at you. You're almost at a hundred percent. Yay. LH201 has been slated for termination. What? Why? Why? She's healed. The creature's recent domesticated disposition has been deemed a liability. But that's my fault, not hers. Let oh my go. gosh. Security alert. <laughs> ah! Oh! I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Good job. Now you need to run away and not come back, okay? Aww. And try not to bite anyone. I can't go with you yet. I have to get across here first. 
See, now they're cute. Do we consider Omega a Disney princess? Because I, I feel like she is. Releasing a weak lurker hound into the wild. I didn't know you were so cruel, Omega. Oh, stop it, Hemlock. You don't know she won't survive. That's very she true. a chance. Yep. Oh, the flawed logic of an idealistic child. Emotion <laughs> and sentiment have no place within these walls. Apparently. You would do well to remember that. Or what? Doctor, perhaps I should return Omega to her room. I love you that. Or what? Say. I know. You brought me here to make Nala say cooperate. She won't work for you if you hurt me. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to hurt you, Omega. Your friend in the detention block, however, may not be as fortunate. Oh, I knew that was coming. Take her back to her room and restrict her access. Okay, well, maybe Emery seeing that will make her think twice. Maybe, I don't know. Got the doll? Go away. Omega. Please, just go. She had an effect on Emery. That's a good sign. I think Betcher makes it. <laughs> okay. Such a bleak, sad beginning, but I'm going to watch the next episode. Paths unknown. <sighs> Still a sense of dread, I feel. Where is this? What is that? The charges against me are false! Stop wasting our time, Captain. Confess to your crimes and we may show mercy. I've seen Roland for a hot second. Come on! Bye! You're dismissed, Captain. Ah! Ooh. That is not just a pit. Who stands before me next? God have mercy on your soul. Hey, hear my voice. Such courage to demand an audience with me. And we're here to deliver. You asked for the pike who disgraced your family. Take him below. No. No. An actual prisoner. Impressive. Your willingness to cross the pikes shows how desperate you are. Very true. And since we've upheld our end of the bargain, now it's your turn. Do we trust them? Um... <sighs> okay. Cool. Cool. Take what you came for and go. Before my generosity runs out. I believe her, like, uh, Andale, Andale. It's not I hope Tannis. You find who you're looking for. I better say Tannis. <laughs> I'll be so upset. Who puts him on a wild goose chase? It's a nice little palace you got there, Roland. Well, yo mama. I gotta look for any space whales anytime they're in hyperspace. Echo said he and Rex need two rotations before they can meet us at the coordinates. Oh, I can't wait to see Rex again. We're going now. Ah. Uh. Hunter, the last time we stormed an Imperial base without backup, not all of us made it out. 
Good thinking, Wrecker. Hunter's Omega's being emotional been waiting right now. For us a long time, Wrecker. I'm not making her wait another day. Uh, is this Tannis? Doesn't look like Tannis. Yeah. It smells like Rens and Jotas out here. What is There's Jotas? The Empire could be jamming our senses. I would like to know where they are. Um, oh, no. Yeah, old base. We're not alone. Uh-uh. Freeze! Oh. Drop your weapons. Wrecker. They're rakes. And who are you? Oh. We're clones. Same as you. You don't look like clones. They must be 99s. Defectives. Defective and... Effect. <laughs> Stick to the trail, follow our steps, and don't touch the vines. Yes, Wrecker, don't touch the vines. These kids are just living out here? What was the Empire doing here? Yes, Whatever Bill. they wanted. At least we escaped before they destroyed the facility. And you survived alone out here ever since? We're soldiers. Or we were supposed to be. Mm. Gosh, they were just left. How many are there? The vines! The vines! The vines! Oh, Wrecker, I knew it. Oh, Wrecker. Is it not really a vine? Oh! Don't fire! It gets hostile when you shoot! You mean it's not already hostile? I know, right? So was it a creature or was it actual vines? What was that stuff? <sighs> Slow the vines. The Empire made it. Probably why they ordered a base down to zero on their own facility. Ah. We'll be safe on the crag. The Slow the vines haven't spread there. Yet. <laughs> and this time, don't touch anything. Yeah, yeah Wrecker. Yeah. <laughs> Slither vines. Did I see electricity or was that them shocking it? I don't know. My head's stuck on the Zillow beast now. There has to be some intel in that base. One of the control room panels was still intact during our last scout. Mm -hmm. I tried to use it to send a signal. Can you take us there? No way. That area is covered in slither vines. Stack's right. You're on your own. They need help, Mox. I'll go with them. Aww. You know the risk of going down there. I mean, what else is he going to do? How long has she been gone? Too long. I want to know how up. long. I wish the other clones felt that way about us. You oh. may be defective CTs, but at least you're loyal. I want them to take them with them. I don't want them to leave them on this planet by themselves. I thought one day I'd be flying one of these on a mission. A lot's changed. Yeah. He still can. Got the gear and the power. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing him upside down, though? So they said that the slither vines were toxic, and so now he's wearing a mask. So it's not just the fact that they'll grab you. There's slither vines everywhere in there. Careful where you step. Oh. Wrecker. Uh, the little dust particles, it's giving me like the, the vibe of the upside down. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Do something! Hello! Do they like fire? Like, oh? Oh? Uh. The slither vines have legs and teeth? Oh, this is horrific. This. <laughs> ah, I don't like it. Creepy, crawly, ASMR, slithery noises. 
Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. What are we waiting for? Let's take this ship and get out of here. What about Deke? He made his choice. <sighs> You're so loyal. If we wait and the Slither Vines reach their ship, our chance to escape is gone. It's not true. Where's their ship? Northern Ridge. Show me. He's not going to take their ship. Ah, Ew. I didn't think it could smell any worse, but I was wrong. Ew. I agreement on that. <laughs> Jesus, Wrecker. <laughs> ew, ew. <sighs> Nothing better happen to Gonky. Yeah. Something's coming. Yeah, something we need to make big. This quick. Is it more of those things? <laughs> no. Bigger. Something else. Mm hmm I mean, can you guys, like, light a torch or something? Like, do the vines hate fire? Oh. Oh, ugh. oh, no thank you. Oh, God. You're just gonna eat some food or something. I mean, I don't think that that Mox would steal the ship. You really think you can fly this thing? I was top of my class in flight training back on Camino. Where will we go? Anywhere's better than here. I hope they see Omega's doll. Mox, take the ship and go save them. Okay, good. I don't want Gonky to get left behind. I don't really want to see this thing. I feel like it's more than just, like, arms and tentacles. Like, it's huge. Look at the thing! See. There we go. Thanks, Mox. Grab the cable. Good job, Mox. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, the thing is huge. I can see how it took over the entire base. Whoa. No. No. Mm -mm. No. Don't look down, Wrecker. Ugh. Do you have a sonic boom thingy? Sonic charge? That's not enough! Grab the case of explosives! Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. That'd do it. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Whole new fear unlocked. Anytime I see vines, I'm gonna be looking for a mouth. Huh. Did the intel say where he went? There was a mention of a sector, but nothing more. Damn. It's a lead. Well, if that's where Omega is, then that's where we're going. Hmm. We'll drop you three off someplace safe. Where? Or an island. There are good people there. They'll take care of you. I don't know where we fit anymore. You have time to figure it out. Yeah, a lifetime. Make your own path. Yeah. Be something other than a soldier. What about you? Our mission is not over yet. Mm -mm. What is Fee's Island? Is it Pabu? Oh, see, Deke, t 
take a lesson. That's loyalty right there. Oh, wow, that one flew by. I did not expect that. Okay. Woo! Welcome back. Okay, so... Hemlock's awful. Seems like everything that he touches, absolutely awful. Now, whatever experiments they were doing at that that base, um, the the vines. Yikes. I think um I think seeing in the previously on seeing the Zillow Beast, I am just my brain is very much focused on that. But like the slither vines are something because I was like, well, they're just vines. No, they're like live. They have teeth and mouths and like they can get cut off and turn into little running bodies. No, thank you. No, thank you. I can see why they left, but also, you know, those three um, clones being left behind, that is survival right there. And, you know, I I'm, I'm proud of Mox for having loyalty. They really could have just taken the ship. And I had a feeling they weren't going to do that because the three of them sticking together. I mean, Deke obviously was, he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let's take it and run. Cut and run. Uh no, uh I, I I like that they had a little lesson in brotherhood and and loyalty and that they came to their aid. Um I, I was a, a little afraid for Gonky. I really was. I was like, Wrecker, please don't drop him. Don't leave him behind. I was worried. I was really worried. And I was worried about Wrecker, you know, wrecking things. It's kind of his thing. So, uh, yeah, uh, what a, what a great way for that to end. And then I'm pretty sure the island that Fee is on is called Pabu. I could be making that up because I'm watching Legend of Korra at the same time, and the character on there is Pabu. Mm, not 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 100% sure, but uh, what a great place for them to be, great place to grow up. Uh, it, it's better for them than on this cave and living with the trauma that they've gone through, especially like finding out that there's just any experiments, all experiments, everything gets experimented on. No rhyme or reason. They had no idea even what was going on there. Uh, that's heartbreaking because it's the same thing that's happening on Tannis is, you know, we, we don't really know what they're doing at the blood other than the M count, which I think means midi chlorian and uh, like the, the one test subject either failed or um, the M count was not nearly as strong as there's, or there was too much damage. Now, Nala say taking the blood of Omega and getting rid of it, I think is incredibly smart because I don't, I obviously something is very important about Omega and her blood. And Nala say really wants to keep that secret. Um, I'm thinking, you know, because like she kind of just picks up things really easily and and she's very i i think that she's ahead of anyone else her age like just the way that she can pick up things like she can pick up things that hunter does like with tracking and you know like like she'll watch wrecker like with a bomb or something and she's able to duplicate things just by observing and so i'm i'm sure that she's maybe force sensitive. I think that that's always been kind of the, uh, the theory that's out there, but like, you know, the fact that she, that, that, that we're this close to finding out something more about her because of her blood and Nala say is very much like, no, no, we can't let that happen. Whew. Emery, I thought for sure was like going to not help Omega whatsoever. Even, even like just with the, the bunny, um, but like her kind of like just being like, oh, well, I should take her back to her room, you know, trying to stop Hemlock and Omega from having a confrontation because Omega is just like, what are you going to do? And I love that because it's very much bratty teenager vibes, but it's Omega and like she's not that person. Like it very much is a challenge because she's just like, what are you going to do? You know, and, and it's it's testing boundaries for sure. You know, I wouldn't have let him known that she knew that, uh, you know, that Hemlock had her dangling over Nalase's head a little bit. Um, I, I don't think I would have revealed that card, but you know, uh, the, the fact that like the, the, oh gosh, what is it called? Lurka, the Lurka beast. Is it Lurka? Lur 
Oh, I already forget. But the dogs, the dogs that she domesticated by like caring for it and helping it heal, like that might not have made it weaker. That might have, you know, helped that that animal survive. And it was I was so happy to see like, uh, was it a batcher? <laughs> I love that because it's just like the bad batch batcher, but like like seeing batcher out there and you know howling at the moon and running off like you know that 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 shows you just whose heart is what that Omega is like a very pure innocent loving caring empathetic sympathetic compassionate person and then there's Hemlock, um you know and the fact that she won't give up on Crosshair, you know it, it's very much a, a hunter thing where it's like we don't give up we 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 per persevere we keep going. And Crosshair is pretty much telling her, like, you need to give up on me. I'd give up on you. And I I don't think that that's true. I think he would definitely think about her. And I think that he would definitely want to escape with her. But I don't think that he's at the point where he can openly admit something like that, especially to her, because he was very much, you know, against Omega for a very long time. And uh, I think she might wear him down with her positivity and her light and her love, you know, and that's like what you do when you, you know, care about somebody and, and you have loyalty towards them, whether it is because they are part of you, like as in a clone, or it's because you do see them as family and Omega is not going to give up on Crosshair. And I think like she's cracking that hard exterior that he has. Um, and it's funny because up until last season, I was just like, whatever, let Crosshair go do whatever Crosshair wants. And, you know, when we started kind of seeing him struggling with the things that he was having to do and, and kind of seeing the Empire for what it was, you know, like he's very much still just he's recovering from that, you know, like his he's heartbroken. The thing that he thought he was meant for and that, you know, he was doing the right thing. It, it, it turned out to be what it is. Oh. Yeah, and Hemlock dangling crosshair over top of Omega's head, especially after losing Tech. Come on. Come on. You're going to regret that, dude. I, I, want, I want a severe end for Hemlock, which means that the more I want it, the more I'm probably not going to get it. Um, if anything, you know, the Emperor will end up doing something with him. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. And, you know, like seeing time pass and seeing the hash marks like kind of add up on the window and, you know, having her build a bunny just for comfort. You know, I I think this is going to um, probably help Omega a little bit. Um, it's going to have her kind of just lean on herself. Like I know she wants Crosshair's help and she might be trying to get Emery on her side, but I think like she's she's going to be sitting there just molding things over and coming up with a plan and giving her more and more time i think it, it's just going to make her work even harder to get out of there and I, I love that she has an escape plan well she's trying to come up with an escape plan and that she's not giving up on crosshair oh i'm very excited to be back here and and i'm excited to see more it's funny because i keep forgetting that hemlock like has omega there because because he wants to keep Nala Say in line. But I, I know that there's something that is more important about Omega than just that. So, like, to me, like, I'm like, he must know that. And maybe he doesn't yet until he realizes the Nala Say thing with the blood. Um, I think then he's going to be very intrigued by Omega. And I hate that. I want her to escape already. But... I know that either our boys will show up and cause havoc and like she'll just be outside already and she'll be like, hey, let's jump on the ship. You know, <laughs> like I feel like she can get herself and Crosshair out of here. Um, I, I, I feel like it, she's not a damsel in distress. She doesn't need to be saved. Um, but I do think that like, uh, she will do the majority of the work to get herself out of this situation. And, and Hunter and Wrecker and Echo and Rex will be there to kind of just swoop in and collect. Uh, at least that's what my plan is. That's what my hope is. Because I, I really I really think Omega needs to do this for herself as well, which is uh, really interesting. Uh, anyway, guys, if you want to watch full link reaction to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon. Uh, but in the meantime, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. <sighs> the darker tone, the darker music. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. I think that... Uh, there was always a lot of hope in Clone Wars, and there was always a lot of hope in Rebels and levity and lightness. And while we do get that with Wrecker, um, I, I I like that this one's a little bit more gritty 
especially like like seeing the kids living like by themselves and they're like they're covered with dirt and like it just it 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 screams like rock bottom and i love that i love the vibe i don't like it because it makes me feel uneasy but i like that it makes me feel uneasy if you know what i mean how did it make you feel being introduced back in, into these two episodes like uh, what you thinking how you feeling <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are far ahead, so no spoilers in the comments. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, come back here for the next couple episodes. I'm really excited to be back in this world. So in the meantime, I'll see ya.